So today I'm going to show you how to turn a stronghold end portal room into a like relax room. As you've noticed, I've as you've probably noticed, I've already taken away the end portal and lava and things and carved it up for room. But I was going to do the walls and add in some sofas and things using this furniture mod, which I thought was pretty cool. If you look, there's curtains, couches. But yeah, so first I'm going to use the walls. I'm going to do it with like coloured stained glass. I think that would work really well. And then I'm going to, but I'm going to add some soul sand around it. I don't know, maybe not soul sand. Let's add something else like you know, I know wool around it first to make it look really cool. So yeah, so like let's get started. So if we put all the wool around here and we can break down the stone after we've done all this I'll finish off with the top bit afterwards be sure to not put the windows because I'm going to have them in just the same glass and of course you can use whatever colour wool you like but I'm personally using purple because it's one of my favourite colours. So, if we look, we're going to cover the whole thing and wool, wool, and more wool. Wooly, wooly, wooly. I wonder if that's a real song, but yeah. So, let's put all the wool around it. This will probably take a while. But it's like this thing really needs to be converted. At the end of the video, I shall also show you the library I did earlier. Because I'm going to try, over time, I'm going to try and convert this whole stronghold into like a amazing place. And I've already done a library, it's not been video, but I just did it with my free time. But like, so, I shall show you that at the end of the video. But first, so let's add all of this onto here. Bear in mind, we're also going to be knocking down the stone afterwards. So I definitely keep some wool in your hot bar if you're following along, because that because when you knock down the stone, it's likely to to also break some of the wool or whatever you're going to use. So it's worth keeping. Let's cover all this up with wool too. I'll do the ceiling. <coughs> it needs to be three blocks tall. It's really going to be worth it to see this thing. So, but yeah, like so, we're going to carry on. Be sure to cover every little bit except for windows of Stronghold or whatever you're using. Because if you're following along, you might be using like a, like a dungeon or something for this. It's reasonable in a lot of rooms. If you really wanted, you could even use one for left or right wing in Ocean Monument room. You could use a room in a wooden mansion. But there's like loads of places to do it. I'm personally using this stronghold because like I had already done the library in it and I've done it on a super flat world because A I usually use super flat and B this super I made it so that you could all well that we could all see the super like the stronghold and we didn't have to go digging for it. I could just use the locate command and do it, but the fingers, everyone can actually see it. No, you don't have to go mining around in the in a stronghold. And also, if you use the locate command, you don't have to use an eye vendor. Only to do for is press the chat button, which for the PC edition is the T button. And all you need to do is type in slash locate. And then using a cap with a capital letter at the start, you need to use, you need to like do the place that you want, for example, stronghold. And 
and then just press enter and it'll come up with either first unable to locate strong any stronghold feature or it'll say locate a stronghold at like a number and then y and then in brackets y question mark and then another number so what you need to do is you need to tele go on to creative mode teleport yourself into the air and then you need to like use that to help so if you're in the air then you can fly down 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 until you find a strong cold boom so there you go so and boom i've just finished the outside if you look you can still see that inside so if you look like let's go in you can see my converted library there look it's still all dark in here so let's take away all this stone once and for all because stone is kind of boring especially when it's cracked and broken so let's just redo all of this it'll only take a minute or two it's also worth taking away the windows at this point Just a little bit of wool for now. So if you look, we already have one wall done. Iron bars are kind of annoying, but yeah. We're going to place that with the stained glass in a bit. So I guess that'll be okay. The inside will also soon be replaced with stained glass. And yeah, I know there's dirt there. I'm going to redo that in a bit. Because dirt is kind of annoying. Add the lone block there. Goodbye, bat. Thanks for leaving. They're probably gonna come back, aren't you? Yeah, I've kind of let you free. Probably gonna get out and onto my. There's my picnic table there! Ah, excuse me. Because <laughs> I uh, did a picnic table a bit earlier. I was also using this mod. But yeah, as long as that bat doesn't get near my picnic table, it's okay. I hate it when bats go near my stuff. Even if they're less like, you know, bats. They are running incredibly annoying. We're also going to have to cop it all this up at a point. But yeah, so, when if that happened, it's worth keeping a bit of wool with you, or whatever material you're using. So that you can use that and also the best things to use in strongholds are like when you're building often the cracked and mossy bricks are the best ones to take away I don't quite know why they just are I like it so let's take away all of this and stuff I'm not really going to take away any of the them mossy blocks at the bottom there anyway. I'm just going to replace them with like... I'm just going to replace them with wool, like the rest of it. And then I'm going to cover it in carpet. It's going to be wool and carpet. I think it's going to get annoyed again. Let's do always. I mean, let's not do always day, I don't think that's natural. And I just set the time today. So there you go.
and then we also need to do the ceiling which is really the most annoying bit that's another good thing about creative mode with this kind of broken down block if you look it's made up of an awful lot of cracked and broken bricks they're always the best to take away first even though I can just go on along with pivots and going around the edges and all that so yeah and also on here uh, I almost always use creative mode words on super flat. I can't really use a survival super flat. Once I forgot to switch my mode to creative and straight away I got taken by slime. That's how bad at survival mode I am. I didn't even have a sword so it was kind of annoying. <laughs> and it's like, um, surely I can at least use a command to get back onto creative mode. And then when I made a dirt tower to get and then when I got to a village and made a dirt tower and then clamped and jumped off and tried to get onto it into a church and stuff like that where there was a huge mob of slime surrounding me which as you can guess was really quite annoying but when it actually happened it was really annoying because like this villager came up and nearly knocked me off the church and then, but then I, but luckily I stayed on, and when I tried to use the, when I actually tried the, to use the command, it said it was unavailable, which as you can guess is also really quite annoying. But yeah, so I'm back on the floor panels now, I need to do all of this. And it's quite a lot of it to do. Bear in mind, I've also got to call the thin wall. Even if it is in my, one of my favourite colours, that doesn't stop it from being annoying. Even if so, you know. I'm going to be having to redo all this because even though there's going to be stained glass over it, if stained glass, so you can see what's underneath and it'll be like stained dirt. So. That's also really annoying. But also have to redo all the floor all around there too. Because they need doing for the stained glass. I'll do these bits first. And you have plenty of time to well I have plenty of time to do it because it's for weekend. But if you're doing this like after school or if you're an adult or and you do it before or after work. It's going to be incredibly annoying for time too. But I guess I have quite a bit of time. And I'm nearly done now anyway. Once I've done these flooring panels and put on the stained glass, it'll just be finished early. I just need to add some decoration onto it. And then it'll be finished. I can follow, as, I, as I said at the start of the video, I shall also show you my library. But... That would, that of course has to wait. So if I, I will probably, I might, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I might even do more videos of updating the stronghold. And I don't really know when either, but because like it's gonna be real difficult. We don't really need to carpet any of that. But what we do need to do, we do not need to do the ceiling for this bit, luckily. But we do need to coat the walls in stained glass. In fact, now I'm going to make this look better by placing stained glass in the window with so it doesn't look all the same and a bit boring. So, that's that. So, I'm going to put it all in here. I shall also try a piston door so actually I might just use iron doors for this because I'm not very good with piston doors but so yeah so, yeah. so that's like 
that down. So, if you look, like, ta da! You can see my diving board over there. Okay, we'll also add some decoration to the outside. But let's take some of these out. We go to page four. If we look around, there, let's add some hedges onto it. So it probably needs something going to do that all the way around. And give it a hedge. It looks a bit like homely. So like if I make some houses around it or something, people can come here. I can also, because of the source pack I've got, I can also buy these spawn eggs and dyes and things to look like drinks and food. So we're selling my goodies too. This relaxing place. Little coffee delicious. But yeah. Let's come on with this head. But yeah, like that looks nice and homely now, doesn't it? Next we run some sofas, a lamp. Well, we know there might even be people living here at some point or spending most of their time here at least. So, let's put the sofa around here. If we also place a little cabin up here, okay, she will do nicely. If we put a little lamp on top, and if someone does decide like to live here, what's the name? So here, yeah, like, if you look, you can actually sit on these sofas. Let's probably add some more sofas around here. Let's get hold of some wool. We can turn this corner into like a TV corner, but we will. Need to place all this with wool too. Which won't take very long. Okay, that doesn't matter. If we put like a wool wall around here, we will. And then we can even have a TV if we have a sofa here. We can have five people in there. And I'm not on a multiplayer server, so I guess I can have this whole place to myself. But yeah, I don't really care. Am I running for a chicken feather if that happened? Okay. Do that. One sec, if I do that again. Can I wear this thing? Yeah. And we'll just have to get out another lamp much much easier so if we make this four places I have that there so another little lamp we can even have da 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 a TV and if you look we can watch the villager news and get all comfy So yeah, just run our friends like We and we also have some tables, so we can have like a sale or something in it. Like a cake sale or something. We also put some tables outside and people can eat here and things. Which will be quite nice. We place a little bit around here. We also take away all this. It will hopefully look good. So, then we can put some chairs around it. Go okay, like, put some other things on it too. I think the music, case of tables, case of 
Pink Cap and that pink thing that has my Arcadia chair. And we can have nine. Well, let's have six chairs on here. Let's have. Hmm, let's have some. Hmm. What's good to be on here? Yeah, let's have some cups. I tried filling it with water before, unfortunately it didn't really work. The water just like flew over it almost. I'm kind of make a little kitchen area so people can say like if people do like spend most of their time here, they can be here. I'm just add a little seal. It's a wall cup with that. Now then, this was Let's have it in here. This bit doesn't seem to be fit. I type. So if we include that there. I'm just following in the chicken bag with that was then. So let's have it there. Okay, now an oven. Let's have some more capping up. Yeah. There. Look quite good. We also maybe include like a washing machine and a dishwasher. Yeah, we could probably need a bin. Kitchen counter, better dishwasher. Yeah, let's have the plates out. We have a mirror. A chop lock, okay. That's kind of weird. Dishwasher here. Let's do the washing machine. Soapy water and stuff. Oh my, chicken burgers! This mirror actually works! Okay, maybe let's give out some plates. Gosh, there's some help and plates. Oh, maybe. Maybe like put some food on them. Let's try it with some there's no cook mutton. And yeah, it works. Let's have mutton for everyone. That looks like really cool. Okay, everybody has mutton. I probably can see in this mod too. What? Well, you need to step here. Wait a sec. Step with three. I hear this stuff. Never mind. Never mind. Look at my counter. Says we can we can put stuff in the bin. So what? We can put my stuff in the bin to get rid of it. So it's really quite handy. And then, if you really want to people, indeed. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. And that was how to make a
to our own cold end portal room into a into a relax room but as promised I have to show you this library so it went from like this all cobwebby, see cracks and mossy bricks stuff all the way to this which looks pretty cool if you look I've added some sofas da -da 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 -da. and I've cleaned up and everything and also I've, I've also found I've also made this it's pretty amazing wow. okay and I just saved myself from touching my water on my chicken feathers but yeah so the last thing I'd like to show you all today in today's video is this flat because I also use this one called I think it might have been Without massive structures, but I also can. I also did this. If you look, da da da. Me watching TV. Maybe you'd like to watch an episode of me, and <laughs> I don't really have time. I even put my Christmas tree up. Just need to get some photo lights. Ding ding ding. Hello. I'm here to. But yeah, so that was how to make a stronghold end portal room into a relaxed room and showed you that I also converted a library and did a flat block. Bye!